Hello everyone, my name is Arvind and today's topic is IPsec VPN site to site connectivity. This is the lab session, so I will not be covering the entire theoretical part. And on this lab, I'll be using IKEV, which is Internet Key Exchange version 1, and I'll be using Cisco IUS routers. Let's look at the key benefits of IPsec. It provides confidentiality, it means encryption and decryption. It provides integrity, it means hashing. It provides authentication, it means it authorized the communication parties. And it also provides anti replay protection. It means it keeps the track of each and every packet with the sequence number. If it gets the duplicate one, it discards it. So this is the network architecture which I'll be using for my lab. This is the site A and this is site B. I want the communication between these sites will use a secure tunnel over the public internet. It has five steps. The step one is interesting traffic. So we have to define the interesting traffic in our edge routers. So these are our end routers for IPsec VPN where we will be defining the interesting traffic if it matches like if a source is this one from this side and the destination is of site B. So it matches the interesting traffic then it will negotiate for phase one tunnel. Phase one we also call it as IK phase one or we call it as ISA camp which is Internet Security Association key management protocol. Under the protection of phase one, phase two tunnel will be established. We call it as IK phase two or we also call it as actual IPsec tunnel. And in step four, the exchange of information happened. So the actual communication happens within the protection of IK phase two tunnel. Once the communication is done, tunnel is terminated. So this is the overall concept of IPsec VPN. Now we will get into the GNS3 to do the lab and understand it practically. So this is the network architecture of my lab and we have one prerequisite that we should be able to ping each other because in the real time scenario these are public IP addresses. So site A should be able to ping site B. So let's ping from site A to site B. The IP address of site B host is 10.0.1.2. So I'm able to ping from PC1 to PC2 of site B. Now I'll be pinging from site B to site A. So I'm able to ping uh, both the sites. To configure the IPsec VPN, we have to configure router 1 and router 2, which is the end router of both the sites. So I'm in the console of router one. We'll go to configuration mode. Now we have to define the neighbor IP address with the shared secret key. One thing I would like to tell you that most of the configuration of phase one will start with crypto ISIC camp. Whereas for phase two, we will use crypto IPsec key. And we have to give a question mark. It says that provide 0 for unencrypted and 6 for encrypted. We'll use 0 and we'll give unencrypted password. Cisco 123 address and we have to provide the neighbor IP address. My neighbor IP address is 2002. That's it. Now we have to define a policy. As I said that for all phase one configuration, we have to use crypto ISA camp. Now we have to define the policy number. Policy number can be different, but your parameters of phase one, phase two configuration should be matching. We'll start with first parameter. We'll choose authentication. So we are using pre-shared key as we have already defined. We'll use pre-shared. Next, we'll be using encryption. For encryption, let's see what are the options we have. I'll use AES. The next option is hashing. Sorry. So we have two options. I'll be using MD5. And the next option is Diffy Hellman group. And I'll be using group 5. That's it. We have configured. 
we'll do show history we'll copy it on a notepad and we'll configure the same parameters other side everything is fine here but we have to change the neighbor ip address so our neighbor ip address for router 2 is 1001 this ip address that's it we can copy the same configuration and we can save our time that's it the next configuration is defining the interesting traffic using access list we could have done it earlier but it's up to you uh, you can choose your sequence of configuration so we will define the interesting traffic ip access list extended i'll provide the name int tr this is the interesting traffic name sorry now permit ip now the ip address of site a is 10.00/24 so I'll be providing 10 slash 24 but we have to provide the wild card of the subnet mask so we will be providing 255 and the destination is 10.0.0.1.0 and again the wild card of the subnet mask so this is how we have defined the interesting traffic show history we'll copy this and save our time everything is same but we have to change the source and destination here uh, we will be having 1.0 as source and 0.0, .0 as my destination we'll go to configuration mode we'll paste it and it's done now we will start the configuration of phase 2 and as i said phase 2 configuration will start with crypto ip sec and we have to define the transform set will provide a name of transform set which is trset now so on phase 2 we have two types of protocol esp and ah which is encapsulating security payload and authentication header we generally use esp over ah because esp also provides encryption where ah does not so we'll give question mark and if you look at the options as i said for ESP we have both the options like for encryption we have AES and DES and we also have some hashing algorithm like MD5, SHA whereas AH has only hashing algorithm. So I will not add extra overhead of using both these protocols. I will use ESP only for authentication and encryption. So for hashing I'll be using ESP MD5 HMAC and for encryption I'll use ESP AES that's it exit we'll copy we'll paste it here so here we do not have to change anything we'll copy and paste the same thing we are done so far we have covered phase one configuration interesting traffic and phase two now we have to use something called crypto map and we will map all these parameters so the configuration is crypto map will give a name for this crypto map cr map and will give a number and the configuration is ipsec isec camp because it's a combination match address for address we have to define the interesting traffic which we have already created we have to just provide the name now we have created the transform set so set transform set name of the transform set is tr set and the set peer and my peer ip address is one dot 0.0.1 .0 because I'm at R2 that's it show history we'll copy it we'll paste it here 
and we will just change the peer address so the peer address is 2.002 the remaining things will be same because we have given the same name we will paste it that's it now we have only one step left that we have to apply this crypto map to the outside interface so we will check show IP interface brief so this is my outside interface I'll get into this interface So I have assigned this crypto map to this outside interface. And same thing I'll be doing here. On router 2, the outside interface is S2 slash 0 crypto map CR map so we are done with our configuration now we will send some interesting traffic we'll ping the other side now before pinging I would like to explain you something I'm pinging from router 1 to PC 2 of site B so Router 1 will use its outer interface which is not part of the interesting traffic. So I'll be using the source IP of 10.0.0.1. So source 10.0.0.1. Yes, it's working. We'll check the same from other site as well. We'll ping other site which is 10.0.0.2. It's working now we will run some command to verify the traffic flow of IPsec tunnel you can also use these commands while troubleshooting IPsec issues so the first command is show crypto ISA camp security association so it says that these are the peer IP addresses the next command is show crypto IPsec security association so this is one of the best command to verify whether the packet is using IPsec tunnel. So far we have sent and received 9 packets for encryption, decryption, hashing and these are the encryption domain which is called interesting traffic. So it helps you while troubleshooting the IPsec issues. I'll give you a few more commands. The another one is show crypto map. So it shows the crypto map policy. The another command is show crypto IPsec transform set. It shows that for phase 2 we have used ESP AES for encryption and ESP MD5 for hashing. So these are the list of commands you can use while troubleshooting IPsec issues. At the end I would like to show you one more thing. I am generating some interesting traffic. So here I am pinging this IP address from this IP which covers the interesting traffic okay now we will check show crypto IPsec security association so if you remember last time we had nine packets now it has increased to 14 now we'll do one more test that this time we will not cover the interesting traffic range so I am not choosing the source IP so it will take the outer IP address which is the public IP address by default. Now we will see whether it increases or not. So if you see it's still 14. So it has not used the IPsec tunnel because it's not an interesting traffic. So this is how we have performed the lab of IPsec VPN site to site connectivity. I hope the session has been informative. Thank you so much.